my name is Gabrielle Stone. You can check me out in Rock, Paper, Dead, Swell, and the competition this year. And you are watching The 13th Wolfman. Oh! Hey everybody, it's the 13th Wolf Man, and you know what? Today is, today is the first day of seven movies, seven days. Uh, I don't know if I'd call this season, but Series 2. Now in Series 1 I told you that I picked up two box sets that, a while back ago, and the first one that I did was a Nightmare on Elm Street box set. This one is going to be the second box set, and that would be... The Chucky Collection box set. The one that looks like the good guy, do good guy's dolls. I'll put a picture right there. Yeah, so we're going to go through all seven movies in seven days. That's right. We're going to start in 1988 with the first movie, Child's Play. The first movie was written by Don Mancini, starring Alex Vincent as Andy Barkley. Brad Dourif as as both the live version and the voice of Charles Lee Ray, a.k.a. Chucky. Catherine Hicks is, as uh, Alex Barkley's mother. And what it really is, is the movie comes down to this. Uh, Andy Barkley wants a good... He's a huge Good Guys doll fan. Uh, they got the cartoon... You know, I mean, that's the thing. Is like there's a cartoon that has good guys dolls, and and he has all the accessories to play with. You know, and and there's a three foot doll that he doesn't have. You know, he's got the he's got the shoes, he's got the toy hammer, he's got all this you know stuff, but he doesn't have the doll. Meanwhile, on the opposite side of town, a criminal is being chased down by the police. Charles Lee Ray. He breaks into a toy store to, uh, to, you know, get away from them, and he gets shot. Well, he makes it over to the area where the good guys' dolls are, he crashes into it, breaks open a couple of boxes, and puts his soul into one of the good guys' dolls. Well, Charles Lee Ray's nickname is Chucky, and that's how his soul gets into the doll. Back to Al, back to Andy Barkley. Andy Barkley wants a good guy's doll for for Christmas, and his mom has done. It, this really has to do with the the Cabbage Patch Kids of the eighties. There was a huge trend where parents were beating up everybody, like just to get one of these things for their kids for like Christmas. This they based you know Child's Play on this whole thing, and uh, here. There weren't there. There's no uh, there's no good guys dolls to be found. And then one day, Catherine Hicks, uh, her friend shows up and says, "Oh, I met this guy. He's got a good guys doll. It's a, he's in the alley. Let's go check it out and look at it." And so they she takes it home and it turns out to be the one the one doll that was uh, in the toy store that got Chuck got Charles Lee Ray's. Uh, soul in it and bad stuff ensues from there you know I really dig the, ch the child's play slash Chucky movies I love them all um, yeah and I said all of them I'm talking about one through three bride seed you know curse cult all of them I, I like all the movies I think they're pretty well done uh, Brad Dorf was the perfect voice for Chucky I mean, you don't screw with the Chuck, man. Ha! Ah, you know? And, uh... Yeah, it, it's, just a, it's a good movie. It's a fun movie. I saw this in 1988 when it came out. I saw it in the theater. It was just so well... well conceived. Don Mancini, Tom Holland, the guy that directed... Uh, Fright Night, directed the first Child's Play movie. And again, Don Mancini... Don Mancini has, has written or co-written... Every child's play slash Chucky movie there are, there is, so he's got his you know he's got the rights to it. Now let's get to that. Let's get to the remake of Child's Play. 
not too long ago, United Artists said that they, well, MGM. MGM said, we're going to put out a remake of Child's Play. And everyone's hand, everyone threw their hands to the sky and said, why? Why another remake? Well, because MGM owns half the rights. See, the rights are split up between Don Mancini. He has the rights to do whatever what he wants. You know, that's why he he's the one putting out the sequels. You know, and United Artists owns the other set of rights. Well, United Artists is owned by MGM, so MGM owns them. But the first movie that was put out, Child's Play 1, was written and written by Don Mancini and Kirshner, I believe it was. And it was distributed by United Artists. So when it came down to it, they split the they split the rights. You got the rights, Don. You got the rights, United Artists. Well, MGM comes along, and I believe what's happening here is they're they're pushing, they're rushing to put a movie out. You, uh, MGM, United Artists are rushing to put a movie out because it's been thirty years, and I think once the thirty year mark is up with with rights, this kind of happened with um with Wes Craven. Once the 30-year markup was with rights, the rights revert back to the story writer. And so, if they don't get this movie out, then Don Mancini gets all the rights. He, he owns it. He can do with it what he wants. He could say, no, you can't put out any more movies. And so, they're pushing to start a new franchise. And they're, they're going to change it so much so that, you know, hey, once we change it enough, it does... It doesn't really represent child's play, you know, or anything like that. Don Mancini, on the other hand, he's got the rights. He's he's putting out the sequels that he wants. He's putting out the TV show that he wants, and he's going to continue putting out more sequels, even with the TV show. So all that stuff, if you want to watch the real Chucky, the real Charles Lee Ray stuff, um, skip the skip the United. Artist MGM remake and stick with Don Man. If Don Mancini's name is on it, then it's legit. That's the way I look at it. You know, uh, so that's it. That's Child's Play one. I kind of rambled off on the end. Sorry about that. I will, I will get to you tomorrow when we talk about Child's Play two.